Hi, I'm Deborah with Self Speech, and thank you for visiting my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk about a day in the life. And that's an expression that means something that you do every day or the activities that you do every day um, on a typical day, a normal day. And so I'm going to talk about the present tense. Um, the present tense is used in this example when you're talking about activities that you do regularly, habitually, um, that you've been doing for a while and will continue to do, um, but because you do them every day or on a periodic basis, you would use the present tense. Um, the form of the present tense is you take the base form of the verb, so it's the infinitive without to, um, unless it's an irregular verb. Let's just start out. Wait, <laughs> let's just start out saying um, irregular verbs follow their own rules. Um, but let's look at a word such as live. L i v e live. Um, the word live is a regular verb, so in the present tense, you would say, I live, you live, they live, we live. Um, so it's the verb to live without to. The base form is live. If your subject is he, she, or it, or words that he, she, or it represent, such as singular nouns, um, people, places, or things, um, in the singular form, then you add an S ending to the base form of the verb. So the base form of the verb is the infinitive without to, and in the present tense, you just use the base form of the verb unless your subject is singular in, um, in the third person. So he, she, or it. So when you have he, she, or it, let's go back to the verb live. Hi, Grace, that's my cat. Her name is Grace. Um, <laughs> if you have the verb live, the infinitive is to live, drop the two. I live, you live, they live, we live. And if your subject is he, she, or it, or words that represent, that he, she, or it represent, use lives. You're going to add an S to the main to the base form of the verb so he lives she lives they live <laughs> it lives um, okay a day in the life I live in Virginia and um, I wake up every morning at six o'clock <laughs> That's a lie. I really, I set my alarm for six. I'm very ambitious. Um, but I usually roll out of bed around um, 6.30, 6.40. Okay, so my alarm goes off. My alarm, it goes, go with an S ending. Actually, it's an ES ending, but let's not do spelling right now. Uh, my alarm goes off at six. I hit the snooze the snooze button on my phone, and I wake up. Well, I wake up at six initially, and then I get out of bed six thirty, six forty, six forty-five. Um, I get out of bed. I go to the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I brush my hair, I take a shower, I wash my hair, I dry my, oh, and then I get out of the shower, <laughs> I dry off, I get dressed, I fix my hair, um, I do my makeup. Um, these are really good common expressions too, so if you want, um, well, what I'll do is I'll make a list of the verbs and expressions that I'm using in the description below. Um, so you can maybe read along with that. Um, okay, so I fix my hair, I do my makeup. You can also say I do my hair. 
do my makeup. Um, I put on eyeshadow, mascara, and eyeliner, not in that order. Um, I put on foundation, blush, lipstick. Um, well, nowadays I, I really don't put on the foundation and blush because I have to wear a mask at work and the mask gets very dirty very quickly. The mask, it gets. The verb get with an S ending. Um, I drink coffee every morning. I have breakfast. I make breakfast at home and I eat breakfast. I let the dog out. I feed my pets. I, let's see, drink coffee, let the dog out. I think I'm ready for work. I'm dressed, I'm, my hair's fixed, my makeup is done, um, do the dogs have been fed. Okay, so that's a different verb tense. I won't get into that. Okay, so at about 7.30, 7.45 every day, I leave the house. I get in my car, I turn the car on, I drive to work. I get to work, I clock in, I look at my schedule, and then I work. I'm not gonna get into the detail of every detail of what I do every day. Um, um, okay, so at the end of the day, I clock out, I leave the building, I take off my old mask, I put on, I take off my at work mask and put on my at home mask so I can go to my car and take it off and breathe again. And um, then I drive home. Sometimes, this is again periodically, not every day, but on a regular basis. Sometimes I go to the store and at the store, I buy what I need for the next few days, whether it's milk, bread, more coffee, <laughs> um, cheese, I like cheese. <laughs> so I buy whatever I need and then um, either I go straight home from work or I go to the store and then I go home. I let the dog out, I feed the animals, um, I change my clothes into something very comfortable, um, usually yoga pants and a t-shirt and a hoodie, like this one. <laughs> anyway, um, I cook dinner, I clean up, I watch television, or... I do some work for my YouTube channel. Um, I, did I say I, I do the dishes? I said I clean up, okay. Um, I do household chores, I do laundry. I maybe vacuum, depending on <laughs> how dirty it is. I do have pets, so I vacuum quite frequently. Um, I watch television, I text with my friends, I text with my family, and um, we send messages back and forth. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? For the time being, I don't date. Um, I'm not married, I'm, well, I'll get into that in another video. I'm not married, but I don't date. Um, and, um, Sometimes I hang out with friends. Now that is a day in the life of me. Um, a typical day of the basic activities that I do on a regular basis. Now, again, some things might change. Like every once in a while, I visit with my friends. Um, it's hard to visit these days because I think there's still a, a little bit of a scare with the virus and people are hesitant to get together um, but every once in a while I still um, I have two close friends that I visit on a regular basis and um, or they visit me and other than that I don't really go out as much as I used to which I hope will change in the near future if not if not in the next three months, in the next six months, um, because I really do enjoy going out to dinner 
and going out on the weekends and dancing and listening to bands and music, live music, um, and meeting people and just chatting, I don't know, getting out into the world. Um, so, for the most part, I have used the present tense. Um, if you want a review of the present tense in this video, I recommend just watching the first two minutes of it. I described the form and the use here. Um, and I have described a day in the life of Deborah. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for putting up with the dryer noise in the background. I forgot I had that on when I started this video. Um, and thanks for putting up with my kitty and my dog. Well, she didn't make a whole lot of noise in this video, but that's a first. <laughs> she usually does. Um, again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you do like it, um, maybe some of your friends will like it so you can share it on any social media platform that you prefer. Um, and thanks again. I really appreciate your viewership and your subscribing. Um, this is what I truly love to do. I don't do it full time, unfortunately. I hope to in the near future. Um, but your support with liking and subscribing my, to my page will definitely help me in those endeavors. Um, if you are looking for private tutoring, I am available online. Um, you can contact me at Twitter, at Solve Speech, um, and you know how to reach me through YouTube. You can leave a comment and we'll be in touch. Thank you for watching. Bye.